really important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it had to be of an international standard, which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. Hello there. On the show today, I'd like to start with a saying that comes from where I come from, which is uh, Benin, Nedo State. And it says, Akube Eoete. In other words, there's strength in numbers. When you come together, you achieve, you're able to achieve much more than you would do if you were on your own. That's what we're talking about on the show today. United We Stand, a group of people who have come together to show that whether it's the arts or literature or entertainment or health or beauty, when it comes to what you've used your head to develop, you must get the benefit. But more importantly, what about you out there? What do you stand to gain or lose if you don't only insist on getting things that are made in Nigeria by Nigerians for Nigerians with no form of counterfeiting? or stealing of intellectual property. This is seriously speaking. We shall be talking about that with a group of people who have chosen to come out to ensure that when you sweat for something, you get the benefits. We'll be back in a short while. Yes, welcome back. It's not easy trying to keep the guests like the one I have in the studio today quiet, because not only are they passionate about what they do as a profession, they're passionate about what they are speaking of now. So I'll start by introducing everybody knows, I believe, Tara Feladro Toye from House of Tara, founder of House of Tara. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. And of course, even if you don't know Storm, or if you don't know, if you don't know OB, you will know Storm records of the past. And this man has been fighting intellectual property long before some of us even knew what it was. OB Asika, it's nice to have you here. Pleasure. But there's more than Storm now. There's Cabal and uh, so many other things. Social, Social Media, Media Weekly got something. I hope oh, everybody wow. comes True. out next, next week. Come True. out next it, week. It happened in it's our fifth. It's our fifth anniversary. Oh, so. cool. Please well come. Done. Please come from Monday. Well done. Well done. And then, of course, my dear sister and friend, the founder and CEO of Zaron. So these three, well, I'll start with Tara, because this whole thing started with Tara giving me a call. We must come on the show. I didn't stick with conference. I said, what is it about? But I also know that I did stand up for against counterfeiting, speaking along with Zaron. Tell me how it all started. So, I mean, I mean, both of us are in the industry, uh, in the beauty industry, having our own brands. And she called me and said to me, Tara, you know, I know you are suffering from this counterfeit issue. I am also suffering from this issue as well. But you know what? If we work together, I think we can fight this better. And I totally, totally agreed with her. I agreed, I agreed with her and I decided, OK, you know what? Let's put finances together. Let's Was this like network. last year or this year? Yes, last year. OK, last 20, 2015. Uh, maybe around May. Mm -hmm. uh, and so and we decided to look at the cost of what it will cost for each one of us to fight singularly, and what it will cost for us if we shared resources together mm -hmm. and also shared networks. So I know some people, you know some people. How can we fight it? And that's how this started. But it then grew beyond just the two of us. And, and, and we started to deliberate. I said to her, we have to go beyond us because I'm beginning to see that this thing affects us, yes, but I met someone whose, whose mother's book was used in, in, was published by a publisher in Nigeria and was used in schools in Nigeria, but the woman didn't get the resources for, for the books. I've met people, who, my friends who are in the movie industry, who also, who also said to me, Tara, this is the same thing we're fighting. It's just piracy. And so we decided, you know what? Expand. We expand it and in, become more inclusive and yet again fight. Because in the past, people fought, fought individually. And silos. And I, and I feel like we're, we're, we're able to do much more if we fight together as a group. I, I find it quite amazing that you came into the industry after Tara, for example. You didn't feel like, oh, well, this industry, there's competition, and you chose to reach out to Tara to do this together. Yes, absolutely. Um, Tara, of course, Tara is a pioneer when it comes to cosmetics. And you can't take that away from No, her. she's done an amazing job. Well done. <laughs> Everybody knows that. <laughs> so yes, um, I think I had sent my staff to go around to see what counterfeiting the damage it was doing to us. And when I found out we're about to lose 50% of our market share to counterfeit products, amazing. I totally freaked out. I remember I placed 50%. a call. 50%? What does yes. that mean? That if you go to the market, people are selling? No. They, they, they're selling the counterfeited Zaron products and mm -hmm. Tara products because while we're checking for Zaron products, we see Tara products too and all that. So I totally freaked out at the possibility of the damage. And 
of, I mean, all the sacrifice and all the hard work, I just said, seriously, we just sit back and just let these people just take away everything. So I called Tara, I was screaming on the phone that I said, no, we have to fight this. These people can't win. They must not win. We have to fight this. And together, I mean, if we fight it together, there's strength in um, fighting Numbers. together. Mm. Yes. And um, Tara's blood is so hot. From, th <laughs> from that minute, from that minute, she's had to follow up on me for, on every issue. She just goes ahead of everything. She's like, okay, we have, I've, I've spoken to this minister. I've done this. I, I mean, it's been, so I must give kudos to Tara. She's done okay. an amazing no, but job. I, I also, I, like I started the show, I give, I give kudos to the fact yes. that people are willing to work together to make this happen. And then, of course, getting Obi on board wasn't difficult. No. But you see, they're talking, yeah, they're businessmen, they have this too. But you see, like, for example, the, the promo that I did was that you're taking food out of people's mouth. But it's beyond that, right, Obi? Well, I think it's way beyond that. I mean, but first of all, you've got to commend what these ladies have been doing because for me, it's about increasing the conversation. You know, if I'm coming at it from the perspective of the music industry mm -hmm. or Nollywood or, you know, the guys who produced local content, which to me, is, that is made in Nigeria. And that's, that, that product now creates extensions, whether it's the brands, the endorsements, and the other possibilities. Everything you talk about human expression mm -hmm. is a made in Nigeria brand. And we need to understand that and understand that that is the value that we actually hold in Nigeria that is ours, that we can actually grow, grow that potential. And we have to just grow the ecosystem. So we have strong laws, but we need better enforcement, we better, better consumer education, which is why their product is being affected right now. If you look at, um, many of you see movies in the street, right? 16 Hollywood movies in one DVD. Yeah. So you should know Hollywood is not seeing any revenue from that. That's not good well, for us. But how do people know that that's happening? Because, so for example, I, I, I buy these things. Yeah, but all that product, imagine, just, let's just accept at this point in time that anything you're buying on the street is counterfeit. You're kidding. Because, pretty much. Yeah, the, the value's not coming back because the supply chains are not there to those who created that product. So it affects publishing, music, Nollywood. That's why there's no merchandise. Fashion. So fashion, I mean everything, publishing. You're wearing books. the jacket that was well, made. Yeah, uh... my brother Dakova, 2005. If Dakova had seen a supply chain, Dakova would have been all over Nigeria before anybody Africa. knew what was happening, even Africa, because he was Big Brother Nigeria in 2006. Oh, wow. So the problem is that we haven't invested in our core asset, which is us. But tell me, Tara, you know, because you, you tell me, you guys tell me vehemently, this is not about whether Tara is selling or not selling. Because when you started this course, that was initiated. But you found out other things that, as time went on. So how does somebody understand that? Well, it's not because you want to make Tara richer, House of Tara richer. It's, it's beyond House of Tara richer. We love America and we all want to go to America. But guess what? America exported something to us. They sell us something, and they've sold us their intellectual property, they've sold us their movies, they've sold us the American brand. The dream. The American dream. But it's a brand. And Nigeria as a whole, whether it's Tara, whether it's Dakova, whether it's Zaron, whether it's Obi, whether it's you, the Kemi, or Yemi, you are a Nigerian brand. And if we cannot nourish our own Nigerian brands, we don't have a habit of doing so, we can't export that.